Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Latori and I create fashion and fragrance videos. So today I am back with another fragrance video and I'm going to be talking about Kayali's Love Fest Burning Cherry. So let's get right into it. So this is the newest release from Huda Beauty's Kayali fragrance brand and it is called Love Fest Burning Cherry. It was released a few months ago. I don't think it's been an entire six months that it's been out. I could be wrong, but I know this is the newest to the collection and it is amazing. So first things first, the notes are actually on the back of the bottle, which are very convenient for me. And the notes listed are Burning Cherry, Raspberry, Praline, Palo Santo, Guayac Wood, Guayac Wood. I don't know and patchouli so for me this is a super syrupy sweet almond scent which i love i've been very into almond notes um, or almond fragrances recently especially for this time of year when it's starting to cool down and you just want to be like kind of cozy this is really that girl so I, I picked this up um as a birthday gift to myself my birthday was august 29th team virgo and this um i didn't wear it for a few days when i got it i just um i was in the process of moving i had a bunch of boxes i had a bunch of fragrances and so i just wasn't really reaching for it that often um a few days after my birthday another gift to myself i went to a concert and i was like let me pull out kayali just to see how it does tonight and I sprayed it down and I was in love. So I had sprayed this before purchasing it in um, Sephora. And I went on my lunch break one day and I was like, let me see what the new um, Kayali fragrance is talking about. And just so you can see the spray. And I sprayed it in the store and I was like, oh my goodness, this smells just like Lost Cherry. And that was a comparison that I had been hearing a lot um, on TikTok, YouTube, all of the places. And it does smell a lot like Lost Cherry. Now to me, it doesn't smell, after wearing it for a while, it doesn't smell exact. Um, for me, Lost Cherry is much more potent and the longevity is indescribable when compared to this. Um, my only gripe with Kayali fragrances, all of the ones that I own, they are lovely, they smell amazing, but they don't last. Um, and to me, that's kind of a letdown, but not enough to make me stop buying them because they are incredible scents. So if you are looking for something that's going to last you for hours and hours and hours, this is not that. Um, but if you want something that smells good, that has that sweet, syrupy, cherry, almond type of scent, and you don't want to pay the $300 plus dollars that it costs to purchase Lost Cherry, you definitely want to pick this up. This, um, for the price point, I think it's a great, great scent. Um, all of the Kayali fragrances come in three sizes. So it's the tiny um, rollerball scents the mini bottles which range for i think 47 dollars in this size which i believe retails for 110 if that's not the correct price i'll put it on the screen and i think for the price for this beautiful packaging for the incredible scent it's definitely worth it i would repurchase this um as far as the longevity goes i would say i typically get maybe three or so hours on skin a little longer for clothes but not enough projection to wear I'm happy with the scent I want everyone to smell it because I think it's incredible um, so I wouldn't mind because I have the full size I'm not opposed to buying the smaller bottle and just respraying as I feel necessary if I'm going out um, I haven't done that. I haven't carried this with me to respray. And it's okay, like I said, if I hold my hand up, like say I spray the back of my hand and a few hours go by, if I hold my hand up, I can still smell it, but I'm not getting like the projection for other people to smell me that I would hope for. But I mean, fragrance is personal, so I don't mind enjoying it for myself, but 
if you're spending over a certain amount of money for a scent, you want other people to enjoy it too. At least I do. So I would say this is definitely something to look into if you enjoy almond scents or almond um, scented things. If you enjoy cherry scented things. For me, like I said, it's very syrupy. It's very sweet, um, but not too sweet. It's definitely a gourmand um, scent, but it's not something that is um, like a body spray sort of sweet. It's definitely, it's classy. She's a cute girl. I feel like this is great for a date night. This would be really pretty um, for something evening um, when it's a little cooler. And like I said, you wanna get like that cozy vibe. This is definitely something that you want to reach for. Um, this has currently been in my cooler weather rotation. Um, like I said, today is October 7th. I purchased this, I think like August 27th, the last week of August sometime. And I didn't actually open it until September, maybe the second week of September and I've got I don't know if you can see it I've got a good little dent in here um, just for the few weeks that I've been wearing it and that's partially because I've been reaching for it a lot and when I do reach for it I spray quite a bit um, in my earlier videos if you've been someone who's watched for a while I would always say oh I do moderate sprays but I'm talking about like three sprays that I'm not that girl anymore that's not moderate for me now, I would say about seven sprays is more moderate for me, and I'm definitely, I'm doing one of these with this one. Um, just because, like I said, it's not something that has like a crazy projection, so it's not going to be like I clear a room when I walk in because I'm wearing like this loud, obnoxious fragrance. And because I know the longevity isn't where I would hope it would be, um, it's not something that's going to last where it's going to be you know, nausea inducing or anything like that. So would I recommend it? Absolutely, I think it smells incredible. Um, if you are looking for a dupe of Lost Cherry, I think this is an incredible buy. Funny enough, I have the Dossier's version or Dossier's version of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry and this does kind of smell identical to that. Um, I really love the Dossier version. I actually forgot I had it until I purchased this and I smelled it. I was like, I have something like this. And that's when I remembered. Um, so if you don't want to spend the 110 to buy this, I would recommend Dossier's version of Lost Cherry. It's all the same scent family. You're getting all the same vibe. Um, so if you're just looking for the vibe and you're trying to save your coin, I would get Dossier's version. I purchased that probably three years ago, um, so I don't remember exactly how much it cost, but I know most of Dossier's fragrances range in like the 30 or 40-ish um, dollar mark, and you get a full size, or I think it's like 3.4 fluid ounces, um, which is the same as this, but it's for a fraction of the cost. So if you're trying to be in the Lost Cherry syrupy sweet almondy type of fragrance family and you want to save i would go with dossier's version of lost cherry if you want the beautiful packaging that kaoli offers incredible quality um, but not the greatest longevity and you have the hundred or so dollars to spend i would certainly recommend it like i said after i use this i would definitely repurchase this um and if you want the longevity um I feel like Lost Cherry is slightly more complex and I enjoy it with having this. I still want Lost Cherry. I don't think they're interchangeable, but if you're just going for the vibe, um, this is a great option. And yeah, those are my thoughts. So if you have tried this, definitely let me know what you think. What occasion would you reach for this for? Like I said, for me, this is more, I definitely wear it in the daytime, but this to me is like cozy, cool evening um, sort of situation. Definitely something I would wear like a pretty dress with or even like a sweater dress kind of situation, like something cozy, like that sort of feeling. That's what I think of. I've been layering it with, um, the original Jergens, because you know that's an almond scent as well. And I've just 
that original Jergens is super nostalgic for me. So I just get all the good, all the good vibes, good feelings when I wear them together. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on Kayali's Love Fest Burning Cherry. Highly recommend. Um, I wouldn't say tens across the board just because the projection and longevity leave a slight bit to be desired um, to me. But as far as the fragrance itself goes, it's incredible. Can't go wrong. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And I will see you next time. Bye.